See, this this is unacceptable. <laughs> they just don't know. <laughs> and I'm not supposed to gamble, but this is a slot machine I'm going to play. Give her a crack, Ben. <laughs> Go max bet. Irish credit. Did they work? So this is a slot machine, but it's also a fortune teller. You see the patina, you see the rust, you see the oxidation, and you see that it's not working at all. Give her a pull, let's see. <laughs> it works. I did not allow my, align my symbols. So Chris, when we arrived here yesterday this afternoon, we got 18 holes in and we played the president. We played General's Retreat yesterday. General's Retreat, and today we're gonna to play the President's Reserve. Right, either we'll do a little match today or maybe we'll play Scramble, or we'll do, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Either way, we're here to have fun. We're gonna show some fun commentary. We're hoping to see some sheep here today because we did not see any on the Ultra Lao, which means the other side in Spanish. It's a very educational, very educational channel. Similar to Dora, but. Except we're a bunch of white guys, so. Hole number one, Ben is teeing off first. Good morning. Uh, straight up the middle, guys. He's a little right. That go in? Yes, Bummer. All right, I'll back him up. Nice moves. All right, so on our second shot in the first hole, we got a, like 120, 135 yard shot, somewhere between there. We're gonna have to take the shot, shot scope and actually get a good number when we get out there and see what we can do. Get one on the green, get it close. Very, very wet fairways here today. Very, very wet. It appears that the sheep droppings do nothing to absorb the water off these fairways. So second shot, we have 132 with the elevation change, playing 135. Uh, I'm probably going to use an 8 iron because it's a little colder uphill. It might be a slight breeze into our face, and i just not hitting the ball that far. It's too early in the season. Ben, do you want to go first, or should I go first? I would like for you to go first. Go. got to go. Uh, you can see that landed just short of the green. Tremendous backspin. That only comes from hours and hours of having nothing else to do with your time. I'm gonna use eight iron as well. Okay. Oh, he's a little right again. He's going at that bunker. He did drop into the bunker, fellas. So this is where I ended up just short. And Ben had a good distance on him. He's just, just a little right, a little off target. Five feet is the goal because we don't really have our fields in line yet, but we have brutal conditions here today. Sit. Sit. Oh. Alright, five feet. Five feet. Oh, as a reminder everybody, we are we are playing Fluff Your Lie. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Ben? Winter rules. Yeah, preferred lies. Wisconsin rules. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. We're not trying to. And it's going to take quite an effort to do that. <laughs> Looks like we achieved our goals here today. So here's uh, what we have about four feet left for uh, for par. Ben, I really don't want to putt. You make this, please. Chris, you wish. Well, uh, your reward. Ah, I'm a recipient of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Ben is going to make my wish come true. Oh, we have a, a beautiful assurance roofing towel that I received from Ben. Yeah, it was actually a really neat gift. He gave me the towel along with a, uh, 
a uh, ball marker slash divot repair tool is really sweet. Okay. Second long par five, five thirty-five. I'm taking the drive. Left bunker on left side bunker. Made it back into the fairway. He's gonna be happy with that. Uh, very very poor camera work here today, guys. Uh, we are up the right side fairway. I was looking into the left bunker. It started there, but it definitely moved back to the right. I don't know if I can see. There's my ball. Sorry about the camera work, a little shaky. All right, he's heading off to the right again. That will not be a four dollar mistake today, thankfully. <laughs> We're here on the second hole, on our second shot, and I know it's only the second hole, but I, I gotta say, I mean, some, a bunch of this wildlife and scenery is absolutely beautiful. It's just too bad we couldn't get down here a little bit later, so everything's in bloom. But we're definitely gonna make the trip down here again. Here's our second shot on the par five, number two. Bends up, uh, it's like 260, 250 to the bunker on the right side. Um, so we definitely got plenty of room to put ourselves in a good position. See how Ben does. Just a little right, it should be in the fairway. Um, taking the three wood. Yeah, so Ben just told me the, the squirrels here are crazy, and they are because we, we drive like within a couple of feet of them, and there's nothing. They they don't they don't care, and they're they're huge. Hi squirrel. I just wanted to come and say hi. I know we can do that because we're friends and we're not scared of each other. We can come talk, we can eat nuts together. <laughs> Quite unlike Wisconsin squirrels. Okay, here's uh this is where Ben ended up. We're taking his shot because he's just got a better better look at the pin. It's more open. I uh just a little bit further than him, but it is not worth um being down on that, that left side just because we're we're just kinda cut off to the pin. So we got 172. Ben's gonna give her a go. Ooh, little roller. You see that squirrel? Ben, what was that that you used? I used a three hybrid. Three hybrid. At 172, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a five iron. See if I can't hit, actually hit a good shot here. I'm a little bit short. Shot number four. We're just short of the green. Pins in the front, so delicate little chip shot for you here, bud. I chose you a pitcher wedge. It's going to be a bump and run. It, upon reflection, I feel like I should have used a different club here because I'm not going to be able to better predict how it's going to come out of that uh, fringy rough just part of the green. I'm 56? Gonna my shot. Um, I'm going to do a nice one. We're going to be surprised at the results. Get up there. Oh, what a shot. He called it out too. So I'm going to be hard pressed to get inside of that, but I'll do my best. But uh, that's uh, fantastic by Ben there. I, I just, that fills me, me with confidence. So I'm going to strike this pretty good. Get in the hole. Oh! Very nice shot. Thank you. We went a little long. I think we're going to, Ben's going to be a lot closer than I am. Ben was definitely inside. Um, hit a great shot to about four feet again with little downhill left to right breaker. People do this for some reason. They have no idea why they're doing it, but I'm going to try it because it looks cool. <laughs> I, I looks like the club shaft is just getting in the way of my sight. <laughs> but it looks great. The, all the tour players do it. Yes, sir! We have just reached one on the fire. Um, that's enough now for a birdie. That was a fun. It's okay. I don't know if you can notice in the video how fast the current is moving. For sure you can. Yeah, the river's definitely up. It's so thawed through here. Through it's running. 
of last time I was here uh, to be able to witness a barge, I would say the length being 100 to 150 feet long, being pushed by a tugboat against these currents all the way upstream to the impending dam. Hole number three, 135 to the center, 158 back, par three obviously. Ben, what are you hitting, bud? I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Oh, he hit a good one. It's going right at the flag. Is it, is it enough? Nope. Just a little short? Just a little short. I'm also hitting the eight iron. That should be enough. I believe that's a, the right club for you, Chris. He's posing, oh. waiting for it to land appropriately. There it is, just a hair longer of mine. However, oh, we are gonna have to show our short game magic here this afternoon. There's a lot of it. Again, the goal here is to get inside the five feet range. So we seem to be uh, at 100% within the five feet range right now with our putts. I do see that the green is sloping left to right, and there is a knoll right in front of the flag. I'm hoping to carry it all the way there and trickle it down towards the hole. Yeah, the the green is, or the excuse me, the pin is sitting in a little uh, undulation almost, so everything wants to go to the flag. So put a good stroke on it. Short. Go. Start to travel towards the flag. We're up, say, six to seven feet. Oops. I think we're taking bends. Eight, ten footer, downhill. Do you see any turn on that, Ben? I see it's going to wobble mid putt. It's going to, uh, and I see that if you are riding up the right side of the cup, it, at the right pace, it will curl into the hole. Your right or my right? Buffer there if I can hit that mark. Um, but my. My line here is going to be dead center. It's got to flow, go towards the water. I think it's going to turn to your right towards the water. I'm not able to see that, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay. I did notice that the ball did turn towards the water. Like he explained, I, I seen that at the beginning of the putt, not as much at the end. Um, it was a poor stroke. Definitely got to move a little bit to my left or right, and let's see if we can't roll it in the hole. First putt of the day. Ah! Just a little outside, boys. Okay, so number four, uh, 329 yards. Pretty self-explanatory. We just bombs away down the middle and make a birdie. All right, if I zoom in, you'll see that they uh, took all of the bunkers for the golf course and push place them all before this green. I'm going red right flag. Uh, anywhere on that line, I should be golden. That should be okay. That should be right in the fairway. We're good. And now we have set the stage for Ben to unleash. <laughs> Boy, do I feel sheepish. Oh, he had a pretty decent one. It's still moving a little right on him, but he's going to be in the fairway. Oh, second shot on the par four. The, the green is really protected by bunkers. So we got like 145 yards. Got to carry quite a ways. There is an opening under the green on the left side. He hit that really well. It was a little short. <laughs> smegma. A little, little smegma. It sounded crisp. Just a little short of the green. Well, that's my fault, guys, because I, I only grabbed 8, 9, and pitching wedge because I thought I was a little closer and this ended up being where my ball landed. So that's my fault. We're just using the wrong club. Our third shot on par 4, number 4. Uh, Ben's going to chip it in there close for us. So we got a lot of green to work with.
Tight. Tight. Good shot, Ben. I love the contact, that mushy sound. Um, Didn't get it there far enough. We got uh, eight feet, seven, eight feet. Ben says it's drop zone. Ooh, a little, oh. little speedy. That was a pull, simple pull, and then a straight putt. I like that read, I like that read. Now that is a sign of a champion right there. That was a great read from Ben. He said straight, I saw straight, it was straight. So uh, number four, or excuse me, number five, 382 yards, and it looks like it just turns around to the left. Uh, it's pretty open out there as long as you carry these trees on the left side. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and get one in the air and, and give her a go, and if I leave it out right, I should be okay. I hit a good shot. Wonderful. And that's pretty much how I'm hitting this new driver. A little bit off the center. Guys, I tell you the flash face works. I call that cart golf here was not Car path golf. Second shot on that big par four, 192 yards to the back. Ben's got his four hybrid. Four hybrid. Taylor made four hybrid. Sounds like the right tool for the job. Let's hammer that hail, nail home. I think it went over the fence. I couldn't tell. I was looking in the viewer. Went through the fence. Okay. All right, so uh, I got 192 to the back. Um, just hitting uh, the standard three hybrid. Callus, 20 degree. Here we go. Stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Wow, wonderful shot. 15 feet, 20 feet. Well, I hit a good one in there. Uh, 185 with a three hybrid. Hit it in tight. About 12 feet, 15 feet. Ben's gonna make a putt. It's a one two punch birdie. Downhill, little his right to left. Does he make it? Come on. He had the right line, just need a little bit more pace. Come on. Oh. Okay, number six, 326. You can see that I am still in the tee box or something I normally do. It's not just to Chris, it's the you know, other opponents as well. Um, very anxious golfer. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, he hit a good one. See, the clouds are breaking up. Yep, feels warmer out here already. Ben uh, actually ended up picking up his in the fairway because I pulled mine, but it just took a bunch of fortuitous hops and we actually got a pretty decent shot at the uh, the pin. We've got 146 left for our second shot and again to another well protected green, um, bunkers all around and we got some tree trouble this time, but those trees shouldn't be a real issue. Get lucky. Roll up there. So I just I think it's actually enough this time just a little right. If that stays straight, it was right. Alright. Standard issue, just a little short of the green. So once again we are just a little short of the green. Just not a lot of greens and regulations for us today, but oh, it's gonna zero. come. <laughs> um actually we do have greens in regulation to, on the last one. Par four. It was on in two. We have a birdie putt. It was the first birdie putt of the day. We both left it short. Yep. Uh, but Ben is going to grace us with the uh, nice and tight shot again. And uh, here we go. Set.
checked up a little bit for me. All right, so we got an uphill par putt, about 15 feet. Pull it just a little bit. Solid speed, just, just pull it just a little bit, ever so slightly. Uh, my read was inaccurate. Pull number seven, uh, we got, well, marker there says 167. Um, but I forget, what did I say? I think one, 188 to the back, so 170 something middle. Oh, it hit the green and came off. Oh. Wow, it's rolling on the hill. It's still going. Just kidding. Back that shot up with a better shot. A b -b -b better shot. Oh, he did. He backed it up with a better shot. Stay. Stay. You got a green ball. Yes, sir. So this is what we got for a birdie. Settle. I knew I pulled it right away. Not too good on my part. Didn't learn anything from Ben there. Or maybe I wasn't paying attention. You want the flag in or out? Yes, sir. Uh, looks like we have some workers down here at the end of the fairway. Uh, they're all going to be able to enjoy our terrible tee shots. Ben hit a great one. That was awesome. Nice shot. Thank you. It's going to be a battle of the distances now because that was a fine shot indeed. Second shot, part five. Oh boy. General idea here is advance the ball up the fairway. That's pretty much it. Nice shot, Chris. The sun has graced its presence upon us. We got 78 yards to the front of the green. Well, he's someone's son. Well, he's 78 yards to the front of the green. The pin is in the front. A little slight wind into us, but it is warming up fast. I'll be right. Where the hell? Was he a little short? I couldn't tell. I am in the front bunker. Alright, looks like he is going to get on the front edge of the green. And coming back. That's good roll, my friend. Car, let's see if we can improve on that score. I gave her a go, I got it there. You definitely got it there. Right down the middle. Fairway, but not very long, Chris. I'm, I'm gonna lay into this. This is where we're hitting from, and unfortunately, just due to technical errors, we did not get Ben's shot. Ben just hit a glorious three hybrid. Three hybrid. Two. He's uh, like, yeah, there we go. I mean, oh, it's a bummer that we didn't get it on film, but we're gonna see some more good shots. Good shot. I gotta try and hit a really, really good shot. Well, this is hole number nine. This is our last chance to get a birdie on this side. Um, we just hit another GIR. 
Yes, uh, things are going in the right direction. I was going right at it. I don't think it has a distance. Just short left bunker. Um, a wonderful line. Good job. Thank you. Once again, what a great shot. I mean, look at that. Right on line. Let's move in left. Oh. Good par, Chris. Come on in there. Oh, what a shot. What a putt. Great par. Well, I'm pretty impressed, um, especially in the green quality. Uh, I mean, obviously, I can't really give a good bearing on how the course is. Well, I mean, although it seems to be really good, um, course seems to be really good as far as like upkeep and everything. They got tons of guys out here working nonstop. Uh, so we parred out, two over par. That's pretty solid. Thoughts, Benny? Well, uh, this is my first video here with Chris at the Golf Fanatic channel. Uh, thanks for subscribing and cheers. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Yep, thanks again for uh, coming on the channel, Ben. Now, uh, Ben is uh, the owner of Assurance Roofing, but yeah, uh, uh, gonna have a link to his website below. Ben is a great roofer in southeast Wisconsin. Um, lots of work is, of his is around. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description below and uh, check him out if you need any for any of your roofing needs. Thanks, guys.